Now, the forecast for today was 90% chance of 10 to 15 mil. So I thought, what a great opportunity to get the Yalman plow out and uh, get some water into our soil. However, we've only had half a mil, but I did get the plow out. And anytime you put an implement in the ground, it's inevitable that you're gonna hit an irrigation line. So I took out the, uh, the line from the dam to the irrigation tank and now I put a hole in it. So now I'm actually just gonna rip the whole thing out of the ground and I'm gonna put it above ground. So then I know exactly where it is and I'm not gonna hit it again. All right, I managed to get some deep rips in. You can probably see behind me there. Uh, that's going through where the market garden's gonna be. And if I do a spin around here, you can see it goes back up into where our grazing pasture is gonna be. Now it's quite heavily treed. Uh, so I have to kind of dodge those and holy goodness this plow it just went straight through into the hard pan uh, I started off with two tines on my tractor my little 35 horse and it basically didn't move so I took one off and was left with one and uh, I walk up to the tractor and we managed to get it done but not without a bit of damage so I'll cruise up there and I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay, if you recall, I bought the Yaoman's Weld on foot to retrofit to my existing Deep Ripper. The reason I did this is because I already had it. I wanted to use what I had um, and I thought that we could get it to work. And it does work. It just needs a bit more modifying to be able to withstand the forces. So what actually happened, if you can see down here, there it is, Oop, there it is. It actually tore the steel out here and, and made a big tear down there as well. So what I'll do is I'll get some angle and I'll reinforce this whole front edge um, as the plow pushes on that front edge as it digs through. So not a big drama, uh, just a bit of a pain, but that's what happens when you work on the land, things break and you've just got to keep fixing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the other foot on and see if we can do some more ripping. Bugger. This is the temporary seeding table. So we're halfway through winter at the moment and I've just done all of our crop planning uh, for the spring and the coming year. And so it's time to seed. So the zucchinis went in, the tomatoes went in, the cucumbers went in to seed trays today. Uh, we've got some lettuce coming up and some celery already and cherry tomatoes that went in a couple of weeks ago. So they, We'll go into these beds, but we're actually going to create 10 more big um, grow blocks and hopefully we'll start that this week. Also this week we picked up a cool room uh, for free. One of our friends gave it to us. They had no use for it anymore. It's a bit small, so I'm thinking about expanding it out with some panels and making it into an egg packery or maybe just as an auxiliary cool room. So I'll show you that once I get a bit of a plan together and some time to start assembling it. And our market store went really well as well. So it's the second week and yeah, we've really maintained that momentum. So pop on down, uh, get your certified organic and chemical free produce from us. Um, some of us grown on site, some from our friends at other farms, but all local. And uh, we'll see you there. And I'll catch you next week with the wrap. See ya.